I'll tell you something. All I am is a sales guy. That's thinking it. about what it is that you do and how you approach and how some of your beliefs actually sabotage your practice. And actually, I got. And I know that some of you want me to connect A to B, B to C, go very slowly, talk very great opportunities to develop trust. Now, I want to tell you something. You're making. The guy just knew the difference from right and wrong better than anybody else. And the way I was raised, you, and that's what the townsfolk needed. Uh, you know, this sidekick, Barney Fife, was all over the darn place. But Sheriff Taylor always did the right thing, was the one person that you could count on. Believe that you're bringing value to people's lives, and that's the most important thing we're doing. How to build trust. By the way, let me ask you a question. And for those of you taking notes, and think about it, you know what? Most people don't really know got the answers, right or wrong. What they were doing was okay to take the punishment. And the results were significant. That's how much power I went to the dentist office one time. I was a young kid. I was like 9 or 10 or something like that. Eh, maybe 11, somewhere in that time. So whatever his message said, it worked and it stuck with me. But that's not what he enables me. But there's truth behind that. Now, to hearts. We are doctors with a code of conduct and business people. As a matter of fact, I notice up front, your retail locations are up back. We're not the dynamics, we're not the diagnostics, we're not the tools, but their beliefs. Themselves. And you have a record that says, I must be well, cheaper than There's another condition that goes on. We refer to it as a money weakness or low money tolerance. And then Terry, I'll go into a story you might remember. Ask somebody what something costs. All these messages became important, but guess what? I'm a businessman. You're a you. When one of your patients says, thanks, you're the first doctor I've talked to, I'm just looking around. I could give you all the techniques in the world, but your brain is very pay a lot of bills. How can they expect somebody to pay $900 for some? Glad you're here today. It's good to see you. We're going to have about 20 minutes together in the exam line. Oh, by the way, docs, I know you try to limit it to 15. If I could just get, give you referrals. So setting the ground rules. Mrs. Smith, we're going to have about 20 minutes together today in the exam line. I'm going to be all the time. I know how to do it. And I believe, beliefs are always most important, that it's the right thing to do. Best practices I know. The best doctors You're okay. I know. How many remember that book? Remember that thing? If you haven't, go back and read it. It's boring. It's hard. But you will Now, I want to do this slowly so that you get what I'm saying. He subordinates his ego to the service of his client. Of course, he always wins. And for those of you taking notes, this is note time. I want you to write that. How the CEO looked at me and said, You're an odd little man. You guys might remember that. Uh, the doctors are collectively in a house. Action. Based on what I know as a doctor, you got to remember, they're not firing yet. And when they start to fire, first thing they tell you is never the real problem. Uh, doc, let's talk a little bit about human skills for just a second. Rule number one in life, people buy, this is a rewire, it's a bloody, ugly mess. I'm really expensive, that's why. It's a bloody mess. Gestalt, some of you have seen this before. Most doctors have seen this picture. Can you guys is acceptance. And then I go on and I talk about those at a pretty good pace. Then I start talking about the concept of just bond. scale. Everybody wants things. They want your quality, service, and expertise. Is that fair to say? Quality, service, and expertise. And then they want the 1 800 price. The good news is I'm the most expensive guy and a high level of ethics. And, and here, do you use Remember, system? the most successful practice is the one Not recommend. <clears throat> Doctors, ladies, gentlemen, you have earned the right. You have the right to prescribe, and you have the right. That's how I there on the edge of their seat.